Hello and welcome to this session how to use meeting summary within SAP with the support of OX for SAP solution. The mission to find in big organization a solution to record and document all meeting minutes is a challenging one. Based upon those meetings, attendees, follow-up actions, decision must be recorded in a way that is a validated and reportable solution. The proposed solution supports SAP general notification usage with OX for SAP editing in order to enable Word to be the text editor for the notification using the DMS as a storage repository for all documents and using notification activities and tasks, partners and workflow and statuses as elements how to manage the various uh, meeting summary missions. OX for SAP is a mapping tool that allows mapping fields and data from within SAP to MS Word or MS Excel and vice versa. The process will include the following steps. Creating a notification, fill in all the necessary data, download a Word document out of the notification via OX for SAP, edit the each notification will contain the following data elements, a unique ID, meeting type, statuses, partner lists, decisions, follow-up tasks, and linked documents. For example, to create a notification, let's go to SCP, Office, Notification, Extended View, the T code is IQS1, choose the notification, choose the right notification type, and in this case, 03, which is a meeting summary, which we have configured in this system. Press Enter. Choose the coding of the, of the meeting type. In our case, it is urgent meeting, scheduled meeting, unplanned meeting, or phone meeting. Let's choose urgent meeting. Put some demo field, demo test in the short text. We can add some long text. Text one. Let's copy that. No. Two. Three. And please bear, bear in mind that the number now is still with upper sound, so it's a temporary notification. So let's save it. A notification number 1001770 has been created. Let's check, check it, press enter, press enter, and you can see the number is here, the type is here, coding, long text, short text, the author, now it has a number, the status at the moment is created, our outstanding, and we got now two buttons on the right side. To download and to upload. The download process depends on the notification type, the code groups in the code. Based upon that it will choose the template and based upon the mapping rule it will define what field should be downloaded to the Word documents as part of the content of this document. Let's push on the download process, see what, what is the process. We push it, and once done, it will go on the decision field. You can see that the download was done, and the activity with the code action box, file downloaded, has been added. Let's save the notification. As part of the editing of the Word document, user will have to choose some checkbox, add text, edit the text and content, add some dates, and basically phrase all the content of this meeting summary to be recorded within the SAP. Let's see the created Word document. You can see that the name of this document is the same number as the notification. Let's open it, and you can see that some fields are already mapped, like the meeting ID, the date, the short text, the long text at this stage. 
As part of the editing of the Word document, user will have to choose some subject box, add text, edit the text and content, add some dates, and basically phrase all the content of this meeting summary to be recorded within the SAP. As you can see, the Word documents have blocks. These blocks, for example, are the decision block, while these block are the follow-up tasks. Let's just choose one task and add some date. This is a decision. Test data for decision and line one, line two, and then choose also one task. Demo, demo task, line one, line two, but here we can have to choose also the due date, let's choose this date, and you can add more text like the user, but this one will not be mapped uh, to the back to the word because we don't know the username, so let's say Let's put it here by name, dead, and let's save and close this document. During the upload process, the system will interpret every checkbox and every content control to an SAP field and then keep the file as a linked document to the notification as required. Let's go back to our notification, choose enter, and in this case we'll upload the file. Push the upload button, and then we'll have to choose the file. We found the OX4 sub library, go to the output, here's our document, let's open it. And the system will give us some warnings. Let's save it. Open it again. And now we can see that on the decision tab, there's a new tab, making a decision. And this is our text. If we go to the tasks, again, this is the demo tasks. And we can see also the date that has been chosen here. If we go to the link document, we can see that the document has already been created in the DMS. The type is CD. Link to the notification. And if we'd like to see the document, we'll mark this line. View this document. And this one, this time, the system will open it from within the content repository of SAP and not from our local files. This is the same file that we've just seen with the mark and the text and everything that has been there. The main value of this process is enabling SAP to become the repository of all meeting summaries in the organization. The mapping and writing and editing will be done via MS Word. Built-in report can be utilized, workflow can be activated, and the mapping between SAP and Word is simple via OX for SAP. All this content is validated because it has been transported by the SAP transport system between dev, test, and production. Some background on behind the scenes of the OX for SAP tools. There are two levels basically of making parameters setting. The upper level is the parameter table. And here we can see each parameter, in this case, 0, 0, 10 is for meeting summary for the urgent case. Let's go into the details. You can see that the detail says this is a download process. This is the structure that we're using. This is the program that we're using. This is the template meeting. If we go to the header extension, we can see that there are some mapping of the notification type, the notification catalog, the coding, the, the group and the coding with the number of the uh, with the number of the function of the action box in this notification and on the item we can see what fields are mapped uh, down to the uh, Word document.
if we'll go to again to the header and we'll go back to the upload process this is the upload process it's the same story we have some extension which are the fields that are going this is the selection criteria of the template and these are the fields that should be mapped back if you like to see how we map a follow-up action, you can see to the details. Let's go into detail. It goes to map a table, and the table is QMSM, and SAP to the checkbox 11. And on the item itself, we define what are the codes and what are the mapping. And all the other mapping rules are here. You can have the due date mapped and the long text map and so on and so forth. If we go back, from this level of parameters, we we'll go to the mapping, to the lower level of mapping. You can see this is the Word document, this is the mapping tool, this is the directory of all the templates, and here are the mapping with the content control and the maps uh, in the field of SAP. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.